Dr. Rackett, Intermediate Student with Lambda. I'm going to require picturing programs and I'm defining some images to take apart. First image is just a 3 by 3 green square. It's tiny. I can get at the colors in it using image to color list. Oops, I shouldn't have left that space at the tip of the arrow. Alt P takes me back, get rid of the space, and I can see S is made up of nine colors. Each color has three parts, the red, green, blue intensity, and the last part is how opaque it is. Look at the fifth color. It has zero red, very strong green intensity, 255, zero blue, and very opaque, or 255. I can get at just the green part of that color using color green. Remember Pingu? Pingu has a width. Pingu is 192 dots wide. Pingu has a height, 262 dots high. I can make a list of the colors in Pingu using image to color list. It's a really long list. I don't want to list all the colors here. There's 50,000 and more of them. I can pack those colors back up into an image using color list to bitmap. I need to give the name of the color list. Oops, I think I messed that up. Yes, I didn't call it color list, so Alt P, go back and edit it. I really call that Pingu Colors. Now I get back the same image, but I could change the way I slice those 50,000 colors up as long as I come out to the same length list. Now a wider and shorter Pingu, or I could make the width half what it originally was and the height twice what it was. Remember Blinky? Here's a way to change an individual color. I'll make a new color based on an old one. I'll use the same red part of C. I'll use the same green part of C. But now I'm going to transform and make the blue halfway between the maximum of 255 and the current blue. And then I'll borrow the same opacity or alpha from my original color. Here's the color produced from a single color using bluer. It leaves three parts the same and it increases the blue part. I can map bluer over an entire image using map image. There is a bluer blinky. Here is a function that I should have called swap red blue. That's what I mean to do. I make a new color. It's red part is now what used to be blue. It's green part stays the same. It's blue part is what used to be red, and its alpha part stays the same. Here's what happens when I use swap red green, which should be called swap red blue, on Blinky. Kind of a weird Blinky.